Here we have a question involving second order partial derivatives. Uh, so we have a function f, which is a function of two variables, x and y. And uh, this question is asking for all second order partial derivatives. So all of the various combinations of partial derivatives, uh, essentially we want, um, what are the combinations that we want? Uh, we could do the derivative of f with respect to x twice. We could do the derivative of x and then y. We could do the derivative of f with respect to y and then x and we could do the derivative of f with respect to y twice. So these are all the different um, second order partial derivatives, so we're going to calculate these. Um, but before uh, getting into second uh, order uh, partial derivatives, we need to calculate the first order partial derivatives. So let's get started. Let's do the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So if we look at this, the first thing, uh, the first term is y e to the 5x. So as far as x is concerned, this is just a constant. Uh, y is just some number. Uh, times e to the 5x and so when you do that derivative with respect to x what you get is 5y e to the 5x because the derivative of e to the 5x is 5 e to the 5x and then the derivative of the second uh, term with respect to x again y cubed is just some number as far as x is concerned so i have some number times x squared and so the derivative is going to be uh, 2y cubed x and that's because the derivative of x squared is 2x, so there's our 2x, and then we just have the constant multiplying it. Uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to y, um, so as far as y is concerned, this term uh, is just some, some number uh, times y. The derivative with respect to y of some number times y is just that some number, so this derivative is e to the 5x. And then the derivative of the second term with respect to y is we treat the x squared as if it's just some number, and the derivative with respect to y uh, is then 3x squared y squared, because we move the 3 down from the y and uh, reduce the exponent by 1, so we have 3y squared, and that's just multiplying the x squared. So now that we have the uh, partial derivatives, the first order partial derivatives with respect to x and y, now we'll do the uh, second order partial derivatives. So let's uh, look at what fx x is. So what we would like to do now is we would like to take the partial derivative of f with respect to x and then differentiate that thing with respect to x. So here is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So let's differentiate this with respect to x. So the first term, uh, we notice that it's just as far as x is concerned, uh, 5y is just some number. So if I take the derivative of this with respect to x, um, it's just some number times e to the 5x. The derivative of e to the 5x is 5e to the 5x. So at the end of the day, uh, this derivative becomes 25y e to the 5x. Uh, the second term, uh, as far as x is concerned, we do 2y cubed is just some big constant. Um, and if we take the derivative of some constant times x, what we end up with is just that big constant. So we have 2y uh, cubed. So this is fxx. Uh, if, we would like the if we would like the second order partial derivative of x and then y, um, we look at uh, what the partial derivative of f with respect to x is, so that's that first line, and then we take its derivative with respect to y. Uh, so here, as far as y is concerned, what we have is uh, 5e to the 5x is just some number, so it's just some number times y. The derivative of some number times y with respect to y is just that some number, so we have e to, uh, 5e to the 5x. The derivative of the second term here, 2y cubed x, um, the 2x, as far as y is concerned, is just some number. And so the derivative of some number times y cubed would be 3y uh, squared times that some number, so times 2x. And if I simplify this up a little bit, I get 5e e to the 5x plus, uh, oops, 5e e to the 5x plus 6xy squared. Okay, now let's look at uh, the other mixed uh, partial derivative. So the derivative of the partial derivative of f with respect to y and then x. So we go find the partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is the second line here, and then we take its derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of e to the 5x with respect to x is 5e to the 5x plus, uh, now we take the derivative of the second term with respect to x. Um, as far as x is concerned, this 3y squared is just a constant, so 3y squared. And then we multiply by the derivative of uh, the x squared, which is just 2x. And so if I clean that up a little bit, 5e to the 5x plus 
x, y squared. And finally, the last thing that uh, this question is uh, requiring of us is the um, second derivative of uh, y, uh, of f with respect to y twice. Uh, so for now, we're going to take the uh, partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is the second line here, and we're going to take its derivative with respect to y. So if we take a look at the first term here, e to the 5x, we notice that uh, as far as y is concerned, this is just one constant, it's just a number. The derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0. Plus, uh, if we look at the second term, we have uh, some number, 3x squared, um, times y squared. So the derivative of that would be 3x squared times the derivative of y squared with respect to y. That's 2y. And so if I clean that up a little bit, I get 6 uh, x squared y. So that would be the um, second order partial derivative uh, was of f with respect to y twice.